Welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to change and modify and play with Krita brushes. This comes from a question from somebody on the Krita Facebook group. Um, and so I'm going to start off by, oh I should start by introducing myself. My name is Douglas Eric Knapp. Douglas E. Knapp is what I go on on the web. Go by. Um, so here you can see I've got all my brushes. I've got about 548 brushes. Um, they're, they're the basic brushes, um, there's calligraphy brushes, uh, why are they not showing? Calligraphy brushes show up. Huh. I don't know what's up with that. Here they are, right at the top row, calligraphy brushes. Um, there's kudzu brushes, kazoo brushes. Um, I also have uh, concept, oh those are the concept. I don't know why the, I used to have these other brushes. Um, there are a lot of things you can see here. Um, use brushes, great set of brushes. And we have uh, Wolthra's brushes. There's this painting pack, for example. I really like that. Um, and we have David Ravoy's brushes, another great set. You can get all of these brushes on the Krita uh, webpage, the resources page. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. So, just play with these brushes and, you know, just play around like you would with any new art equipment. So there they are all, all again. Um, I'm going to put this back where it goes by clicking this. It just jumps back here. Um, and I'm going to go... I'm going to go to Kudzu's brushes. Um, here, I'm going to type basic, because I just want a basic pen. And I'll just pick this one. Oh, that's very normal. OK, there's a basic pen. And you can see this one, this pen, if I press lightly, gives a thin line. If I press with full pressure, I get a big fat line. Kind of a fun brush. Um, so if you want to play with the brushes, first thing you do is you click here. And you can see that there are about 16 brush engines. Each brush engine has a different method of playing with the canvas and the pen tip. The most basic one is called the pixel brush. You can see over here is the pixel brush. This is a place to test. In this box is if you change your um, pen, you can put a little example here and it'll be the new picture, like this little picture here for your pen. You can also do this by blowing it up and really doing artwork on it, but that's for a different tutorial. So, just to do a quick overview, this is the smudge brush, and it does what you'd think. It smudges. Tangent normal is something you guys don't really need to worry about. It's for 3D art, for working in tangents. Each color represents an X, Y, and Z. Sketching is obvious, and it's for sketching. And you can see it brings up all the different sketching brushes. You can play around with them. And if this is all messy and full, you click here, it erases it. Um, the bris bristle brush is like a brush with bristles. Shape. I don't really know artistically what anybody uses this for, but it's kind of cool. Um, spray is like a spray can. allows you to spray. Hatching. It's really hard. You don't see the hatches, but lightly you can see the hatches. Grid. It's kind of like pixel art or something. Curves. Does this weirdness. This is another brush I never use. Might be interesting to do a complete piece of artwork using this brush, or any of its variations. Um, Dyna, I'm not really sure what this does. I haven't played with this one at all. Make the brush a little fatter, maybe let's see. I still don't know. Particle. Again, particle is just like this other brush. I don't, I'm not an expert in the deep deep workings of brushes. This brush, um, clone, is like a clone brush or a copy brush. It allows you to copy from one place to the other place. 
and I guess it doesn't work here. I guess you have to be on the canvas for that to work. Um, Deform is an interesting brush. Let's you change things. And filter brushes. Let's see, we have a good one here, this one maybe. You can see it's lightening it. It's kind of like a, I always get dodge and burn mixed up, but allows you to lighten up areas of color, which can be very useful. And there's a lot of different filter brushes. I haven't played with filter rushes too much myself. And chalk. I like chalk. It gives a good feeling. I've seen a few chalk brushes that were really good. So these are an overview of all of the different engines. And just pick on one, play with it. Um, and if you take your brush, say this is your favorite brush, and, and you do something crazy, and you get this huge blob, and it's only at a strange density or something, and you think, oh, this is a crazy brush, and now I've ruined my... You go back here, and you're drawing, and you, and you want your old brush back, because this one is crazy and slow and not what you want. You just simply press this right here, and it resets the brush to its default. So you don't have to worry about losing some favorite preset. Krita never deletes anything. It can get messy because of that. <laughs> you have to go in and manually delete them. So going back to the brush engine um, here, um, we'll just look at the, the basic pixel brush. Over here is the next bit. Here's the name of it. So you can rename it to something, and, and you can save them, or you can temporarily save them. Um, and there are a whole bunch of different settings. We'll start off with this auto. And you can see here is you have a diameter. Change the diameter here. The ratio makes it oval. So you can get kind of like a calligraphy effect. Um, fade is how blurry it gets. So like here it's sharp, but if I go Okay, it's not going to do it for me. It should be sharp in one direction and not the other. I don't know. Not doing what I expect. But that's okay. Um, again, the angle allows you to, like, to make this thing flat, then you use the angle to rotate it. Spikes. Let's have a spiky brush. Probably better if we make a bigger spiky brush. I have automatic flowers. Kind of cool. Um, density. You can see up here what it does. Make sure. Pen not have as many dots. And if you go to here, you get predefined. There's many, and these are good to switch as you're drawing. Sometimes you'll want like a this thing, you get this cool um, kind of fuzzy effect, and maybe you'll switch and you want this other cool fuzzy effect. It's a great way to texture your art. And then text. And obviously text is for writing. Um, I'm not going to get into that. We don't care about text, do we? Um, okay, so the next thing, just go back to our basic, basic, basic brush here. Get rid of the spikes, get rid of the angle, get rid of the ratio, increase the density. Um, spacing. Spacing is how many dots it makes. You can see here I've got a lot of spacing. Yeah, it's not doing anything. If we make the spacing smaller, and um, auto will just make it a continuous line so you don't lose any in between. Um, circle, square, if you want a square brush. There's a nice square brush. Um, and these are kind of, Gaussian is a type of blurring. You can see on the edges here. 
soft Gaussian blur. Um, soft is just a different thing, and you can also set it here. Come on, er, there we go. You can see this cool pattern I just made. So that's what that does. And if you get, if you don't like these dots, you want to get rid of them. You get too many dots, and they're in weird places like this. Um, you just hit delete, and the dots go away. So that brings us over to all of these things. The first one was brush tips. Blending mode um, has to do <coughs> with how one color blends into the next color. It's a completely, blending is a huge subject and it's a completely different tutorial. But you can play with that, of course. Um, opacity is how see-through your, your line is. Flow is how fast the ink flows out of the pen. This is size, and you can see like this pen, if I press lightly, it's small, and if I press hard, it becomes big. You can set this by changing these curves. Okay, the curves is not whacked. And here's your kind of default, just linear setting. And you can just start putting dots to change that. And you can change on different things, pen tilt, drawing angle, if your if your uh, graphics tablet has sensors for for, um, for the angle of your pen or the rotation of your pen, you can do it over time, over distance, all sorts of different settings, lots of things to play with, and the same thing: spacing, mirror, softness, sharpness, rotation, scatter. There are lots and lots of settings for you to play with. So I'm not going to go through all these in detail, every single one for all 16 engines. But I think you've got plenty to play with and have fun with. So, that's it for this this uh, little tutorial. Have fun, and I hope these. Uh, I think I hope I've answered all your questions. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget to go to Patreon and uh, support me. It's the only way I can do this full time. Is if I get enough people that are supporting me, if I can make enough money doing videos, I will do it all time, full time. Thanks. Bye.